Hi everybody, it's Kim Leibarger and Kimberly Rahan. We're here um, to talk to you about uh, language arts best practices at Jane Long Elementary. We're excited this year to work alongside you and the students so that the kids here can receive the best education possible. Within these um, best practices for teaching language arts, there are components of the balanced literacy program. In the primary cast classroom, there are three components. The first component includes language, word study, phonics, which lasts 30 to 60 minutes. Within that first component, um, the items that should be done every day are modeled and shared writing, which would include your morning message, interactive writing, interactive read aloud, shared reading, and then your language and word play, which includes your phonological awareness. The second component is your reading workshop, which is 60 to 90 minutes. That includes your guided reading, in which the kids will be doing literacy workstations while you're doing your guided reading. And the most important part of that uh, workshop is the group share, where you pull your kids back together for a reflection. The last component is the writing workshop or the guided writing. That can last 45 to 60 minutes. You should have a mini lesson. Make sure you're conferring with your writers and again, have that important group share and maybe an evaluation at the end. In the intermediate classroom, the components of balanced literacy mirror that of the primary, but just um, have a little bit of different twist to them. The first component again is the language word study phonics, which would last about 30 minutes. The most important um, com parts of this component would be your word study, the word study that you are going to, the kids will be working with are going to be based on the spelling inventory assessment that you give at the beginning of the school year and throughout the, the school year in the winter and then again in the spring, always moving the groups around. The reading workshop component, which will last about 60, se 60 minutes, not seconds, sorry, it will include reading mini lessons, your independent reading uh, and reader's notebook, which will be written reflections that your students um, provide for their, for their reading. You will be conferring with the readers at that time, having your guided reading groups, and again, your group share and evaluation at the end. The reflection is so very important because that's what will help you guide your teaching for the next day. One important component of the intermediate classroom is the poetry workshop. This cannot wait until um, when poetry is in your your teaks. Poetry needs to be shared weekly um, all the time throughout every subject. So that's one thing that we really need to look at. And last but not least is your writing workshop. You're writing mini lessons, your independent writing, conferring, and then again the group share and evaluation. These three components will make up your two-hour literacy block and evidence of these three components should be seen in your classroom daily. For balanced literacy instruction to work seamlessly in your classroom, your classroom environment must be set up for success. So in order to have it set up for success, we want to share with you some, um, some pictures of environments that are set up for that just very purpose to have be successful. So the first is the physical environment. It needs to be interactive, engaging, authentic. The colors of your room need to blend together. Make sure that they're not too overwhelming, but just fit right in. Remember that blue and green are calming colors and red and orange evoke excitement and stimulate appetite. Make sure your classroom arrangement is easy for kids to move from one area to the other and that your arrangement reflects cooperative work. Your space in your classroom, make sure it's inviting and thoughtful, will develop a sense of warmth and community in your classroom. You want to make sure your materials are always um, organized neatly. They're very accessible to students. Make sure that you have sharpened pencils, papers, things that kids really need to have readily available. Make sure that you have a gathering place for your students, large and small groups. 
This is a pictures of a large group, some large group meeting areas. You want to have a carpet if that's um, if you need to in the lower areas where students can come together. But also in the upper grades, we want to make sure that you can pull your kids together on the floor to focus strategy lessons and make it interactive where you can do your read alouds, your discussion, your sharing. Your small group area should be clean and inviting so that the so that you are not always moving things around. It's ready to go. You have all of your materials and the students have their materials as well. Next you want to make sure you have walls that teach. You want to make thinking visible, public, and permanent in your classroom. Classrooms should be filled with visible print that is attractive, meaningful, and authentic. That means created by you and the students. They need to reflect learning that's taking place in the classroom. So things that you're doing daily are going to go up on the walls. You may start your school year out with nothing up because you're going to fill that with things you do with your learners. These are some great examples of anchor charts that can be made with students that are making the learning visible. Classroom libraries are going to be an expectation at, here at Jane Long. We need to make sure that um, the library has lots of different books that children can read. They need to be labeled clearly so that can, students can put back, books back where they can all, uh, belong. They need to be accessible. Make sure you're just start where you are and start building your library. These are just some examples of different libraries that can be seen. This is a way to clearly label your um, library for easy access. Notice the label. The, it could be as simple as a dot so that the children know which bin to put the book back in. This is an example of a guided reading table, um, a not example. This is what it should not look like. But again, this is what it should look like all your materials ready to go, everything easily accessible to you, the teacher, and the students. This is a teacher desk of what it should not look like again. And then ready to go, ready for the day, ready for success. Again, we are very excited about working with you, making sure that the students here at Jane Long receive the best education possible. Thank you.